All right, so we have more blackout tattoos today. So hard to talk this about. This is like blackout <laughs> tattoos number 22 or something. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll <laughs> that start doesn't with... doesn't include fails and experimental oh stuff. And, yeah. The random ones that sneak their way in. So we'll start with the email for this one. It's titled Blackout Arm. Hey Remy, I've been watching a lot of your YouTube shows. <clears throat> Wanted some feedback from you on my right arm. That was done one month ago. Cover up some old pieces I wasn't into anymore. Thank you. All right. Oh, well, let's, let's see what you got. Take a look. So, I mean, it's black looks good. Yep. Nothing really much to say there. It looks pretty solid. You can tell it's like fresh, like mm -hmm. new. Blackout has this weird like texture to it. It looks kind of like hamburger. When it well, when, <laughs> when it's, it's like, new. Yeah, when it's new, it, the skin's like still kind of in a stage of healing. Mm -hmm. I mean, these lines are crisp, but. I mean, I would just go without them. Skin breaks gone. That being said, they do make the black look darker. They do. Like whenever um, you have that uh, break in the skin, it does. It makes the black look like. One of the things I've said a lot is like when I blacked out all of the remaining pieces on my right arm, suddenly my black didn't look as black. Yeah. Because there's no contrast. That was a thing. Um, I'm seriously like. Uh, you guys and your photo taking skills. Oh, this uh, is, yeah. Look at the random <laughs> ass foot and all the fucking Buddha statues or whatever the fuck right. they are over there. <laughs> I, I, um, I'm a little bummed, number one, that we don't have a, uh, more views of this. And number two, I really want to see this in context with whatever you health, whatever the hell else you have going on. It looks like he's got a kanji in his arm, yeah. in inner bicep. Like, why did you keep it? I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those, I will cover more in time. Mm hmm Because, like. Well, let me tell you, once you start this, it doesn't just end. Yeah. And I we, also don't love how high up they ended the wrist. Yeah, I was I was just going to mention, I, I'm really over that solid stop on wrists. It should just fade down yeah. almost to the palm or like on a slant or something, you know? Like, like my down. wrist is super high up, but... Yeah, that's way too high up. Yeah. I said that right away. I was like, that needs, that needs to be taken down lower. <laughs> Like yeah, uh, I and uh, like a part of the reason that I remember people always saying uh, that they do the wrist high up is so that they can give you like intravenous and stuff. Uh, mm, I that's a lot of time because artists don't want to fuck with the part of the wrist. Yeah, that feels well. That's what they always. I remember <laughs> people saying this. And oh, I'm sure they said it. I was recently uh, getting blood taken, and I asked the nurse taking my blood. I said, "Can because she was taking it." Um, from a black tattooed spot and i was like can you can you even see my veins do you need to go from the other arm she's like yeah she's like yeah, i can see them that's junk science yeah i was that's, i'm more vascular than i've ever been <laughs> yeah super myth I, if anything you could see my veins easier through the black mm -hmm. i'm like i don't even know what the fuck people like because people say that to me all the time oh they were gonna find a vein yeah uh are you dumb Mm -hmm. like you can see the veins in the video that they'll say that on yeah it's like it's a super <laughs> myth like she was just like oh yeah she's like i can totally see your vein yeah and uh i had no no problem getting uh blood taken from my little ditch there so anyway buddy your arm looks all right i don't think you're done yet you got more work to do yet so yeah and don't be surprised if you need a second pass just to even it up sometimes flaws will show up within a month or two mm. that you didn't see right at first but see how it goes yeah um so the next one uh from jake says hi remy i recently had a foot piece done and thought i would share with you uh very painful but definitely worth it i had the blackout done last year and wanted to add more looking to get it to wrap around my heel eventually oh we got we got plans to do more that's good well of course if this doesn't wrap around the heel now then it should <laughs> but like you needed to bring that down more i think like, like more towards the toes yeah it just looks really lopsided mm -hmm. like that was what struck me right away because like why is the pinky toe completely bare yeah yeah I, I, and like stylistically i think this is really cool it reminds me of like um calligraphy i really like that it's not my thing it's but pretty badass I, I mean what i would do probably is bring the uh the black down around the wrap of the ankle like mm. the the parts up there that kind of look like eyes i just feel like it's not quite it's not quite doing it for me like this dark dala thing that he's got on his mm. foot is whatever it's fine if you like that but i feel like the black 
should come down closer to it. Oh, the uh, the blackout part. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. See, like I would have pulled this whole thing forward a bit, bring yep. the black down, yep. um, and then bring the 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 top of that black mandala, uh, cl calligraphic mandala down, down and to our left over your ankle bones more. Yeah, and then um, it yeah, it just seems off center on your foot, and that could partially be the photo or mm. how they put the stencil on. No, that's definitely the way it is. Eh. That was the way they wanted it. But, like, it seems to line up, but you could have just lined it up just slightly differently, and it would have made more sense with the flow of the foot, I personally believe. I agree. That being said, you need to do the rest of your leg now, because... Yeah. No. <laughs> Like, and whatever I, that fucking moth is, he's done too. Like, what are you like? Are you gonna are you gonna add some more pieces up there, and then just black black round around them, or like, are you gonna have stripes of black? I have a friend, um, one of my friends in Calgary has like black bands around everywhere, and they just yeah. did them randomly. Yeah, it's not good. They need to bring those together. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, and there's like spaces between all of them. It's pretty special. Uh, yeah, I think this has to become the leg now. It's the only way ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do more. Unfortunately, though, with how that Mandela thing is placed, yeah. it is hard to add on to it. I know. Like, it's really hard to do anything on that now, like at the bottom. Oh, they could probably put like some script or a date in like a similar style calligraphy and more get away noise. with it. I mean, it is more noise, but I think it would like, I mean, uh, right down by your pinky toe, if you put like your, your birth year or like someone's <laughs> birth year, you could totally hide it in there and it would look kind of cool just, or like just filler at that point. What are those? Everybody's getting those angel numbers like oh, 777 geez. and yeah, shit. So me, like I know. You, could, you could do that garbage if you wanted to. If you're uh, a little darker, you could just get the traditional uh, triple six That's down there. basically the new, uh, uh, what is it? The infinity symbol. Is it? Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, that and getting their birth year across their belly. Oh, uh, trust me, angel numbers are far more common than that. <laughs> you would know. Uh, yeah. You would definitely know. Sh should we move on to the yep. next one? All right, so we have another email here, and this one looks like it's from Elliot. Um, it says, Hi, Remy. Love your YouTube channel. Always waiting for new updates on your tattoos. Loving the red on black slash white on black works so well. Um, will you rate my nearly finished sleeve and maybe give some pointers on what you think would go with the black under my arm part? Uh, is it arm part? Yeah. Under arm part. <laughs> under arm part. Thank you. I'm totally dyslexic, guys, so I apologize. Um, I'd like to go for the white and red on black. Maybe some roses, but not sure if it would go with the body armor chainmail. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Look forward to see if you can include my sleeve in one of your videos. Cheers oh, from I Elliot. I sure can. Sounds more interesting than half the shit we get sent anyway. <laughs> Yep. Uh, so, you know what I think is just keep going with the body armor theme. Right? Like, really. Like, it's... I would put another chunk of body armor in that part of the in underarm. In that little underarm part. Or, like, um... You know what I would put? I would, so, I would bring the black up a little farther, and I would put some mail. Yeah. Like, chain mail. Yeah. Because, well, I mean... Uh, chain mail links. Yeah, naturally, I think that's what you would, what you would maybe wear under, um... Like, your pauldron and your... Well, this looks like he's wearing armor yeah exactly right? like it looks like he's got like an armor suit on so this is a great use of black and i just i would definitely not do roses in there i would just do more armor <laughs> yeah i would i would i would go for some chain mail and there's some really interesting patterns of chain mail um you of might course. even be able to in incorporate uh a rose somehow in it i mean i don't think you need to no if you really wanted to just is what i'm saying suit armor I definitely don't think you need roses in here. You have a really aesthetic arm. Yeah. So, also, you could always just do more of this, too, with, like, you could do some chain links through here with, like, a one-pass white and black mm -hmm. on black, because it wouldn't be really bright. It would be, like, the thorns on my arms, you know? Yeah, some mail in there, like so some chain like mail. kind of gray and, like, black. And yeah. you could just, you could add more chain links through the bottom part, too. Yeah, I think that would look pretty badass. Yeah, I mean, I like armor sleeves. I don't see them enough. Oh, the little sword on the hand. That's cute. The sword on the hand is cool, but uh, 
I don't think it needs to be there anymore. I think this takes over. I would, I would do chain mail all the way down onto the hand like a gauntlet. Yeah, I'd run it into a like a point gauntlet of mail. And it looks like he's got some mail up top. But I yeah. think it um, in your black areas, like I think he could go daintier, but you might want to well, match that. Well, it's a little that. in there. Mm -hmm. That could be straightened out with some harder lines and mm. uh, a little bit of white highlighting. Glorby. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got, and yeah, I think also I would do some high points on the armor with yeah. white. I'm a little bummed that I'm not able to see your shoulder, um, like the pauldron part. I really want to see that. I don't know what that is. That a flag or something on the top there, on top of the armor? Yeah, the um, red isn't real solid in there. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm a little bummed that we're not being able to see that part. But I think this looks really cool, like a little armor, armor sleeve. Um, I, I think Remy's advice definitely knit, like ditch the sword and throw some mail there Make on your, your hand. Yeah, you don't even need to black that out. You like an artist could just turn that sword into it's pretty, it's pretty you know light. Mm -hmm. Just to put the darker part of the the uh, gauntlet in the the middle and build off of it around. And I would go, you know, to the knuckles. I don't know if you need to do the fingers with it, but make it look like a knight's gauntlet or something mm -hmm. you know what i mean like just keep it going because and the use of black in there is great for covering things anyway so it's not like you would have to worry about it being too heavy yeah and if you know? you're, i mean if you're worried about the uh, gauntlet being too samey you could put like a stone in there and you could you know give yourself some valerian uh, armor samey's great in this <laughs> like it looks cool the way it is it's not the best armor i've ever seen but it's pretty good yeah and this stuff's actually really difficult to do anyway but I think some white highlights could upgrade this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And maybe some bolder outlines on in some places as well. Mm -hmm. Overall, definitely don't add roses. Just keep more armor coming. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I, think you need roses. Unless you want to be the knight of the rose. Yeah, I guess. 